Hello, we are team 23036, and our project was to design and develop a telemetry and data logging system for the Wildcat Formula Racing Team. Um, our project sponsor was Michael Marston in the ECE department, and our project mentor was Douglas May. Hi, my name is Nick Smith. I'm an ECE major and I'm the team lead. Hi, my name is Christian Kopik and I'm an electrical and computer engineering major. Hi, my name is Cheyenne Abzil and I'm a biosystems engineering major. My name is Lucas Baker. I'm a mechanical engineering major as well as the procurement lead for the team. My name is Luke Coburn and I'm a mechanical engineering major. Hi, my name is Isaac Loystein and I'm a mechanical engineering student. The Wildcat Formula Racing Team, or WFR, is the University of Arizona's Formula SAE team. Formula SAE is a design, build, compete competition where schools from around the world build a single-seater race car from scratch. The car currently has no way to record or display data to the driver or pit crew while the car is operating. In order to validate and improve the car's current and future designs, the team desired a comprehensive and adaptable telemetry package to monitor and record various key data points. Without a telemetry package, the team has very little analytical data to analyze the vehicle's dynamics during operation, which can lead to less informed design decisions and as a result, suboptimal tuning and on-track performance. The goal of this project is to provide WFR with real-time data logging capability with a clear and concise GUI that records GPS, three-axis accelerometer, and strain gauge data. Our system requirements were divided into five categories, performance, environmental, safety, design, and interface. For our performance requirements, we needed to ensure the system transmitted data every second that it validated our simulated design for our new suspension, that it recorded all relevant data, that the GUI was easily re readable, and that the strain and accelerom accelerometer sensors collected data at a rate of 30 hertz at a minimum. For environmental requirements, we needed to ensure that the Raspberry Pi assembly operating temperatures did not exceed 185 degrees, that the accelerometer operating temperatures did not exceed a temperature of 185 degrees, and that the strain gauge operating temperatures did not exceed a temperature of 350 degrees. The system had to be resilient to the car's vibrations and to high G-loads that, uh, that the car would experience during uh, racing. The casing for the system also had to be water resistant and resistant to dust particle ingress. For safety requirements, we had to ensure that the electronics of the system did not shock users. As design requirements, we had to ensure that our budget was under 4K and that it would be able to integrate with future WFR cars. For interface requirements, the system must visualize data on a pit lane computer and it had to visualize GPS, acceleration, and mechanical stress data. Once we had our requirements set, we began weighing several design options against each other. First, we had to choose which microprocessor we would use as the backbone of our system. Our microcontroller was the most critical part of the system, so we created a Pew matrix to find which option was the best for our system. We considered an NVIDIA Jetson, a Raspberry Pi 4, and an Arduino Mega. We broke down the categories into performance, precision, and speed of the microcontroller. We considered the compatibility of the microcontroller with other parts of our system. We also considered the cost and overall feasibility, meaning how difficult each option would be to get working. And we considered the open source software and hardware options for each microcontroller. We weighed our options and the winner was the Raspberry Pi 4. As you can see on the matrix, the Raspberry Pi offered an excellent blend of performance and cost, as well as excellent hardware and software availability. Once we decided on the computer that our system would be built around, we selected potential sensors and software and verified their compatibility to make sure we could fulfill our system requirements. We decided to use Python for our source code and Grafana to build the GUI for our pit lane display. Both of these programs are open source and allow us to build a comprehensive software package for the telemetry system that the team will be able to easily modify to their future needs. The telemetry system consists of two primary components, the onboard telemetry computer and the pit lane receiver. Both of these systems are built with Raspberry Pi 4s and util utilize the same transceivers to communicate with each other. This will provide the pit crew with real-time data collected on the onboard computer's sensor suite. The telemetry system then also has a DAC to collect the strain and accelerometer data and the oh. GPS module. The DAC is connected via USB and the GPS is connected via the ser serial port. All of our custom parts for the system we were able to manufacture in-house in our SAE workshop. This allowed us to save some money by not requiring any of our parts to be outsourced to other companies. We utilized 3D printing to manufacture many of our electronic housings and other small custom components. 
electronic components were assembled using a combination of soldering and crimped connections. All of the mounting tabs used to integrate the system with the vehicle were made using a CNC plasma cutter before then being welded onto the vehicle's chassis. The main onboard electronic housing was created using a waterproof electrical enclosure in which we installed waterproof cable glands for wire pass-throughs. In order to visualize the data on a pitlane computer, the team used an open source software known as Grafana. In order for Grafana to work, the data needed to be formatted as time series data, meaning every data point was associated with a timestamp. To achieve this, another open source software known as InfluxDB was used. InfluxDB is capable of hosting local time series databases. Both PIs would simultaneously run InfluxDB to store data so that in the event of a transmission failure during testing, the data could still be saved on the transmitter PI. On the receiver PI, Grafana was being run. Grafana would utilize an InfluxQL script to query through the database and populate preformatted graphs with live data. In order to verify our design, we conducted various tests in order to make sure that our system fulfills all requirements. The original testing plan utilized the WFR23 race car. However, the vehicle was not ready for testing during the semester. In lieu of the car, we used benchtop test methods and personal vehicles. For the wireless communication, we conducted range tests outdoors to make sure that the PIs could successfully communicate and send data packages between each other. We validated the accelerometer using a drop test with a slider that ran down a rail, visualizing and recording all acceleration data and verifying it matched our control values. We do not have access to a compression testing machine capable of measuring axial loads in steel tubing, so we used accurate scales and a hydraulic press to apply a known axial load through the sample and record the data, making sure the recorded values matched our applied load. To calibrate and verify our GPS sensor, we used a personal vehicle to transport the system along a known route, verifying that the coordinates matched where it actually was. All sensor testing was done using our wireless communication and data logging and visualization tools. We verified our environmental requirements using benchtop testing to make sure that our electronics housings met all environmental requirements for the system. Despite not having the WFR race car available in time for testing, our team was able to adapt and come up with alternate testing methods to verify our system fulfilled all system requirements. In conclusion, we were successfully able to develop a lightweight, compact, and adaptable telemetry system for the WFR23 race car and future iterations. This telemetry system allows the WFR team to record many data points that were previously unavailable to the team to assist in further developing current and future race cars. If we had another semester to work on this project, we would more carefully select electronic component manufacturers as early on in the process we had some issues where quality control issues in the components we were using delayed our testing schedule because we had to reorder components and change software and hardware. We would like to thank the rest of the Wildcat Formula Racing Team, our sponsor Michael Marcelin, our mentor Douglas May, as well as the University of Arizona College of Engineering. Thank you.